So before I start today's class, I'd like to take you on a trip that I recently did uh, to share some of the things that excite me in my life with all of you. I actually went to Washington, D.C., and the highlight of the day uh, for me was to visit the National Museum of American History. Some of you might know this. Um, in 1998, uh, a team led by Wolfram Burgert and myself put a robotic tour guide into this museum. This robot was in the museum for about two weeks and it led kids and visitors of the museum through the exhibit. It did localization, similar to what I uh, taught you before. It used a learned map of the environment. We programmed by hand the specific location of exhibits and the robot was able to say something. It was also able to smile and to frown. And as you can see in this video, sometimes even kids climbed onto it. But today I'm here uh, to see Stanley. Stanley has been here for a couple of years now on exhibit, uh, our robot that won the DARPA Grand Challenge. And it was really fascinating to see the thing that we've built and visited in its own little room in the Smithsonian Museum. This exhibit has been made specifically to celebrate Stanley's victory. And in exploring this exhibit again, I found that the curators had actually um, put some program code on the wall for people to understand. And as I zoom in, you can see Kaman. So at the time, we were already working with Kaman filters. And in our parameter file, as shown here, the word Kaman occurs many times. So what I've been teaching you in last class about Kaman filter really had a major role to play in making Stanley the robot win the DAPRA Grand Challenge. So these are really deep emotional moments for me, uh, going back to the past and seeing what we've done and, and how it's being preserved. Uh, but I want to share this with everybody here uh, because it's part of my life and it's part of what we've done in building self-driving cars. And the methods I'm teaching in this class are essentially the same methods as we used back in Stanley and in Junior when we did the Urban Challenge.